Welcome, Grade 10, Computer System Services, students. So, you are ready for the lesson for this week. So, for this week, I prepared a video presentation wherein our target is to learn about what we call Computer System Servicing Assemble Computer Hardware. So, for this lesson, I prepared a two video wherein this two video is composed of number one, video presentation about what we call occupational health and safety. Number two, video presentation about what we call the use of tools in computer system servicing. So I prepared this video together with Ma Maricor Hernandez to help us student that we can use it in our lesson in this new normal system. I'm hoping na mapanood po natin ito ng buo. At the same time, makita natin ang tiyatawag na magic word for this week. So for this week, I prepared a two magic word for this video, November 4 and November 5. Na may kita ninyo dito sa ating video presentation. I'm hoping na mapanood po ito ng buo and you learn something and get ready for what we call quiz or summative on Friday. Thank you and enjoy watching. So for quarter one objective week one, our target is to learn about what we call the learning competencies under MELT or most essential learning competencies. So for this week, we have the learning outcome assemble computer hardware wherein our target number one is the occupational health and safety. Dapat alam natin bago tayo magtrabaho kung paano ba ina-apply ang occupational health and safety during, after, and kapag nagagawa tayo sa ating workplace. Next, number two. After we learn the occupational health and safety, our next target is the use of the tools in computer hardware servicing. Ano-ano ba yung mga different classification ng computer tools na ginagamit natin during our work? And ano yung mga example na materials or tools and equipment na ginagamit natin sa ating trabaho as ICT? So ito yung matututunan ninyo sa this or sa ating video presentation. I'm hoping na magustuhan po. Thank you. Assemble computer hardware. Occupational Health and Safety Procedures Hazard, Risk or Danger Health, the state of being free from illness or injury Safety, the condition of being protected from unlikely to cause danger, risk, or injury Occupational Health and Safety it's a planned system of working to prevent illness and injury where you work by recognizing and identifying hazards and risks. Health and safety procedure is the responsibility of all persons in the computer and technology industries. You must identify the hazards where you are working and decide how dangerous they are. Eliminate the hazard or modify the risk that it presents. The Think Safe Steps Number 1. Spot the hazard. A hazard is anything that could hurt you or someone else. Examples of workplace hazards include frayed electrical cords, boxes stacked precariously, noisy machinery. During working hours, you must remain alert to anything that may be dangerous. If you see, hear, or smell anything odd, take note. If you think it could be a hazard, tell someone. Number 2. Assess the risk. Assessing the risk means working out how likely it is the hazard will harm someone and how serious the harm could be. Whenever you spot a hazard, assess the risk by asking yourself two questions. 
How likely is it that the hazard could harm me or someone else? How badly I am or someone else be harmed? Always tell someone about the hazards. You can't fix yourself, especially if the hazard could cause serious harm to anyone. 3. Make the changes. It is your employer's responsibility to fix hazards. Sometimes you may be able to fix simple hazards yourself, as long as you don't put yourself or other at risk. For example, you can pick up things from the floor and put them away to eliminate the trip hazard. Common hazards encountered by computer technicians and users. A hazard is a situation in the workplace that has the potential to harm the health and safety of the people or to damage plant and equipment. The situation could involve the tax, chemical, or equipment used. Hazard management is a continuous process that can be used to improve the health and safety of all workplaces. Physical hazards Most common hazards involving computer technicians. Cables running across the floor. If someone trips, falls, and hurts himself because of a cable you run across the floor, someone has a serious legal negligence problem. If you need to temporarily run a cable across the floor, place a dangerous sign similar to those wet floor signs used by cleaning services. For cables that are temporary but will need to run across the floor for a longer period of time, use gaffer tape. Gaffer tape is a heavy tape with strong adhesive to stick to the floor. For long-term cable routing, this is a wide variety of cable organizing devices like cable ties, cable wraps, and cable raceways, which can be used to run cables safely along the wall or ceiling. Other common physical hazards include leaving tools on top of ladders and placing electronic equipment in precarious positions or in support that is not sturdy enough or not designed for holding electronic equipment. Mechanical hazards when working on electronic equipment, ask yourself, is there any this any way this equipment could hurt me? When working on electronic equipment, always be alert to any possibility of being hurt by, by moldy parts, hot components, or sharp edges. Chemical hazards. There is a wide array of chemicals used with electronic equipment. There are display cleaning chemicals, keyboard cleaning chemicals, compressed gas, dirt and dust removers, and many cleaning solvents. Some of these chemicals can be harmful if accidentally swallowed, get on bare skin or get in eyes. Before using any chemicals for electronic equipment, always read the warnings and instructions on the label. Always be careful when dealing with inkjet printer cartridges or laser printer toner cartridges. Ink and toner can stain skin, clothing, and carpet. Electric shock hazard. Inside computer and electronic equipment, there is a range of voltages from 3.3 volts to 25 volts, most of which are harmless, but at the power supply, you will find line voltage, which is a little 220 volts. Safety precautions when working. Always ground yourself or discharge yourself before touching any part of the computer. Do not work alone so that there is someone who can take care of you in case of accident or emergency. Be careful with the tools that may cause short circuit. Always pull the cable connector and handle and not hold on the cable itself. Use only rubber shoes when standing on the ground or in the concrete floor. Make sure that the pins are properly aligned when connecting the cable connector. Always power off and unplug the computer before working it. Taking away or take away any liquids such as mineral water or soft drinks near your working area or near computers. Contingency measures during workplace accidents, fire, and other emergencies are recognized. Personal protective equipment is correctly used in accordance with organization procedures and practice. Hazard or risks in the workplace and their corresponding indicators are identified to minimize or eliminate risks to co-workers, workplace, and environment. Take necessary precautions to protect the components of the computer from damage caused by electrostatic discharge. Hold the components by the edges and do not touch the ICs. Read and follow instructions on the manual carefully. Do not excessive force if things do not quite slip into place. 
fire safety guidelines. Know the location of fire extinguisher, how to use them, and which to use for electrical fires and for combustible fires. Keep the workspace clean. Find an escape route in case a fire gets out of control. Know how to contact emergency services quickly. Keep most solvents in a separate area. Use of tools in PC hardware servicing. In this lesson, you will be able to distinguish the different hardware tools and also learn the proper use of hardware tools. Hardware tools. Hardware tools are grouped into these four categories. Electrostatic discharge tools, hand tools, cleaning tools, and diagnostic tools. Electrostatic discharge tools. Static electricity is easily generated by friction on carpets, tile, flooring, clothing, hair, fabric, etc. The friction of moving air alone will charge suspended particles and cause the buildup of static electrical charges in people and objects in the environment. Grounded anti-static work pads used with anti-static wrist traps will provide the most basic means for the controlled discharge of electrostatic electricity. Examples of ESD tools Anti-static wrist trap used to prevent ESD damage to computer equipment. Anti-static mat used to stand on or place hardware on to prevent static electricity from building up. Hand tools. A hand tool is a device for performing work on a material or a physical system using only hands. Hand tools can be used manually or electrically powered using electrical current. Examples of hand tools are Flathead screwdriver used to loosen or tighten slotted screws. Phillips head screwdriver used to loosen or tighten cross head screws. Torx screwdriver used to loosen or tighten screws that have star like depression on top, a feature that is mainly found on laptops. Hex driver, sometimes called a knot driver, is used to tighten nuts in the same way that a screwdriver tightens screws. Needle nose pliers used to hold small parts. Wire cutter used to strip and cut wires. Tweezers used to manipulate small parts. Part receiver used to retrieve parts from a location that is too small for your hand to fit. Flashlight used to light up areas that you cannot see well. Cleaning tools. Having the appropriate cleaning tools is essential when maintaining or repairing computers. Using these tools ensures that computer components are not damaged during cleaning. Lint-free cloth used to clean different computer components without scratching or leaving debris. Compressed air used to blow away dust and debris from different computer parts without touching the components. Cable ties used to bundle cables sneaking inside and outside of the computer. Parts organizer used to hold screws, jumper, fasteners, and other small parts and prevent them from getting mixed together. Diagnostic tools. Computers are easier to use and more dependable with this new generation of hardware and operating system update. But that does not mean they are problem free. Here are the most popular tools for diagnosing your computer. Multimeter used to test the integrity of circuits and the quality of the electricity in computer components. Loopback adapter used to test functionality of computer ports. 
proper use of ESC tools, proper use of anti-static wrist strap, connect the cable to the metal chassis of the computer, wrap the strap around your wrist, the connection will keep your body at the same voltage as the computer, attach the wire on the same side of the equipment as the arm wearing the anti-static wrist strap to keep the wire out of the way while you are working. Caution, never wear an anti-static wrist strap if you are repairing a monitor or CRT. Proper use of anti-static mat. Lay down the computer on the mat. Connect the computer to the mat with a cable. Connect the mat to a reliable electrical ground with its cable. Now you and the computer are at ground potential. Proper use of hand tools. Use the proper type and size of screwdriver by matching it to the screw. Do not over tighten screws because the threads may become stripped. Caution, if excessive force is needed to remove or add a component, something may be wrong. Magnetized tools should not be used around the electronic or electronic devices. Pencils should not be used inside a computer because the pencil lead can act as a conductor and may damage computer components. Proper use of cleaning materials. To clean computers and accessories, use mild cleaning solution and blend free cloth. To clean computer cases outside of monitor, LCD screen, CRT clean heat sinks. Use isopropyl alcohol and lint free swabs to clean them. And use handheld vacuum cleaner with a brush attachment to clean keyboard. Caution before cleaning any device, turn it off and unplug the device from the power switch. 